New at six tonight, we look into the recent shootings in downtown Columbia after another shooting over the weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Deborah Kendrick and I'm Lucas Geisler. According to Columbia Police, two people were shot on 10th Street Sunday morning. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live in downtown Columbia right now. And Kennedy, you actually found on Columbia Police's dispatch log just this year, there have been a total of 76 shots fired calls. Deb Lucas, the most recent happening just this weekend, just around Harpo's Bar and Grill, um, where police confirmed multiple people were shot. No arrests have been made following a downtown shooting that happened Sunday morning on South 10th Street in downtown Columbia. Police confirmed two people were shot and suffered non-life-threatening injuries. But this isn't the first time there's been shots fired downtown. At the start of the year, there were four people injured in a downtown shooting on 9th Street in downtown Columbia. In April, police made two arrests in connection with a shots fired incident happening on 9th and Cherry Street that sent one person to the hospital. It's definitely something that's affecting our community, our small businesses, and we'd love to do whatever we can to help them uh, figure out ways to, to start correcting this. Now, the City of Columbia website shows there's been at least three shootings downtown since the start of the year. All three shootings resulted in one or more people being hospitalized. Nikki Davis, the executive director for the Downtown Community Improvement District, says she hopes that once additional streetlights are installed, it will help deter crime downtown. They'd go up at 2 a.m. when bar lets out. Um, we paid for those um, about 90 streetlights that we're hoping to get installed. And I think um, in all of these incidences, they would have been very helpful if they were installed already. And Davis also says she would love to see more police presence downtown so that we can prevent incidents like this from happening. Reporting live in Columbia, Kennedy Miller, ABC 17 News. All right, Kennedy, thank you. Davis says that she's hoping to get a grant in place to install security cameras outside of those businesses.